And we're starting things off with the Samsung Galaxy XR reveal. Yay! But also, the focus of this headset doesn't seem to be gaming. It's more a direct competitor with the Apple Vision Pro, so a focus on daily tasks, media consumption, and productivity. But when it's offering similar features for a fraction of the cost, this thing's $1,800 with a control upgrade for $250. So they must be confident in its hand tracking abilities. It is still 40% cheaper than the Vision Pro though with that additional cost. People are calling it the Android Vision Pro, which I, I do love. It's rocking an XR2 Plus Gen 2 versus the new M5 from Apple's latest release. This is roughly the same process that we see in the Quest 3, but it's been fine-tuned to squeeze a little bit more. That's the plus. The headset features 4K per eye micro OLED displays, which by now I kind of think that's the, that's the baseline for modern premium devices with eye and face tracking and hand tracking and motorized IPD adjustment. This bothers me because it adds more weight. It also makes the headset more expensive. It also means more things can go wrong when I can just use a slider to adjust my IPD. I'm not the biggest fan of this feature, I just don't really understand it. The headset also connects to a tethered battery, which lasts roughly two hours long, so it's the puck situation, which I think is the way to go to reduce the headset weight, because I would rather my pocket feel a bit of weight than my face turning into the blimmin' Emperor Palpatine. Ah! 